All right, let's check this out here. So. All right, so this one's slightly confusing. So you're saying, I found a sound bath and we liked it. That's what I've so far. Uh, another idea, if I just carry the boy instead while doing all of this, or replace boy with the dog, don't know thoughts. See, Mike, the question is, I haven't seen this before, so I'll watch this for the first time here. So, he's waving, he's waving, but then when he puts his hand around here, I know there's something where he feels really distraught, right? Something's going on here. But then this feels more like, hey, look, there's this nice bird in the air. Why don't you wave at it? Type of thing. There's, I'm not sure if they're freaked out or not. And now he's laughing and waving. So it's it's a bit of a weird dynamic between these two. And then he's looking over here. I'm assuming maybe a missile comes in and hits the thing. Then he does that. I know this is just an early idea, but you know, I'm just, it's, lo looking at it now is the boy doesn't move. He never really moves his legs. And then he keeps looking up, like, is the hell crashing somewhere? Are they, are they supposed to get onto that? Are they like on the rooftop and zombies are chasing them? And, oh, you know, like hands are coming up or something. So it would be cool to know why is he so freaked out? What is he shy? What is he, you know, is it urgent? Do they need, need to get on there? I mean. I could see that. I could see you can use exactly that as like a rooftop and maybe it's like the shed and here's the door with like something barricaded and you have arms coming out, the arms coming up here so you don't have to animate all bodies and stuff. Just zombie arms coming up and they're they're on this area here. And then, you know, he he would be shaking and looking around and get closer to his dad or stepdad uh, because of zombies. And then he's looking around also afraid and tries to hold him and then he sees the helicopter and they're like yeah 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 and then the thing <clears throat> uh, gets hit and falls down and you want to show it with his eyes that he goes down and then he can hold him tighter or maybe maybe he will put you know like his hand around his head and then turn the head towards his chest so that he's all protected and final look is on like a sad face or something and maybe <clears throat> at the end the door opens and one guy comes out it's very bleak but why not? That could be something. That's kind of the thought there. This one, let's see what this one is. All right, so do the jump. You could. Um, I kind of prefer the other one. This just seems, the framing is a bit odd. You're going very straight. Meaning that silhouette wise, it's always the same. Like you would have to do something where he would jump sideways or it's a different a different angle potentially, but <clears throat> like I'm not sure you need the sound for this. You can easily just pantomime and do all that stuff there. Um, so I don't know if it's you know you got to change your color so we can see what's going on here. Just presentationally, it's a bit funky, but I mean you can do this, but then you could do it. Maybe the camera's from the lower angle and you see him jump down bah, and then lands in front of the camera almost. While maybe in the background you see a chopper um, crash. Uh, I'm not sure, but with that sound, I kind of prefer it with the other clip. And I thought you had one more there. I mean, that can work. It just, it's just very flat. This is good for an exercise, just not for a demo reel. This is very flat on. You can just do a bit more three quarter to see what parts of the environment type of thing. And this is a really, really big drop. So if he lands here, it will be, he will be rolling a couple times. Um, just in terms of physics and body mechanics, this would work if it was maybe like here, this height. And then he would just kind of land and slide. So, but you could make it just a bit more complex with the landing. I mean, if, you know, the thing is, if you're already having this, you could have the, the helicopter crash here. You have explosion pieces coming up. And he would roll back and be against the wall, like, holy shit, and shield his, his face while things fall. 
smoke and stuff. I mean, that could be cool. <clears throat> and then this guy, let's see. <sighs> oh, neat. It looks nice though. It's the ending. Careful here, as on a, on a note, this is a very straight line. You want to make sure that things move in arcs. So that, move, that leg forward is a bit too simple. Here it gets a bit weird hand pose wise, where she just has very straight default hands. And it gets a bit too twinned. And how they close is too much fingers all moving at the same time, closing at the same time. It's a bit too simple. is better I think you could at this point delay delay the chest just a couple more frames to get a bit more lead with the head the current's cool make sure that when she's on this here I don't feel a weight shift she's lifting this foot all the way is on here you want to feel that going up like that hits cool that feels good <gasps> that feels good too yeah yeah tiny stuff it's nice Good, nice progression on this one. Uh, and that's it. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.